Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, June 14th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I don't know if Michael Bay is planning to make another Transformers movie, but if he does, he might want to think about giving Sean Roden a call because bodybuilding's version of Flexitron is about as close to a real-life Autobot as you can get. Despite the fact that he was busy playing the role of promoter for last weekend's NPC Sean Roden Classic held in Puerto Rico, Flexitron still found a way to keep his Olympia prep on track by sneaking in a late night arm training session. By all accounts, Roden is on track to hit this year's Olympia stage looking as crazy as we've ever seen him. But the real test won't come until he's standing alongside the likes of Phil, Kai, and Dexter battling it out in the first callout. There's no one in the sport today who has more tools than Roden, but whether or not they'll be sharp enough to take out Heath is the million dollar question. A few weeks after almost locking up his first victory of the season, back at the Toronto Pro, Max Charles is already back in the grind. With top 10 finishes in all three of his competitions, including a top 8 finish in his Arnold Classic debut, Max has already had one heck of a season. But the goal now is to take all of that momentum and ride it all the way to the Olympia stage, where he'll look to come back and avenge last year's 12th place finish by battling his way up into the top 10. Over the last two seasons, Charles has really done a nice job of balancing out his physique and turning into a well-rounded talent. And in about three months from now, we'll find out whether or not he's done enough to earn his way up into the ranks of the elite. Beast Mode has officially been activated for Species Nutrition Athlete Lorenzo Orozco. A few weeks after rocking the house at the Puerto Rico Pro, Orozco is already back in the gym, blasting away harder than ever before. There's something to be said for having a grit your teeth, get down dirty, shut your mouth, and don't make any excuses work ethic. And that's exactly what Orozco's got. He's one of the rare athletes in today's sport who leaves his heart on the floor at every single show and after every single training session, which explains why he continues to find new ways to improve and reinvent his physique. And with the midpoint of the season just now getting underway, you can be sure that the next time we see Lorenzo Orozco take the stage, we're going to get the absolute very best he has to offer. It's been a while since we've heard anything from Sergio Oliva Jr. after delivering an epic performance at last year's NPC Nationals to earn his pro card by sweeping the super heavyweight and overall. Oliva has spent the last few months getting back to basics and getting down and dirty with some good old fashioned heavy training. On paper, Oliva looks to have all the tools to turn into a fantastic pro one day. But the weight of his name means he's going to be carrying around some very heavy expectations. If he can just ignore the distractions and focus on doing whatever he has to do to be the very best Sergio Oliva Jr. possible, he'll find that all the stars will have a way of falling into alignment. After starting the season off strong with top 10 finishes at the New York and Toronto Pro Shows, New York's own John De La Rosa appears to be firing on all cylinders. Last season, De La Rosa came out and hit the ground running, earning a huge victory at the Chicago Pro, followed by a close second place finish up at the Vancouver Pro. But for all that success, he still ended the season with a bitter taste in his mouth, following a disappointing Olympia showing. With just a few months left to go, I'm sure De La Rosa hasn't forgotten what the sting of that defeat felt like, and in the spirit of being his best, rumor has it that he's taken up a trip to Kuwait and will be training with the Camel Crew for his next contest appearance. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. 
If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one. Woo!